Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, young Smite fans, and everything in between. My name is F. Dot, joined here by my co-caster Hindu Man, and we're about to get into our next match of the day: Torch Gaming versus Full Moon. Yeah, Full Moon going to be on the left hand side, Torch on the right. Once again, guys, we apologize; we're not going to be able to bring you what happened in picks and bands, but we do know what the bands are. They should be being told to us right now. Athena, Janus, and Loki were banned out by Full Moon, and Torch banned away. Afro, Osiris, and skip their third ban. As you could see, I was reading that off a document, or rather production were telling me in my ear. That's why we had the small pause there. But however, in this game, we're going to see Slitzkrieg playing that Hercules in the support role. Mercury in the jungle played by Fodiag. Bud, Bot, sorry, Bud Pop as Ool in the duo lane. Zappy G in the mid lane as Scylla. And Chonga as almost dead. What have we got from Torch after? On the side of Torch Gaming, we're going to see Pulliam playing support Guan Yu. Ooh. Recent buffs make that prevalent, make that exciting, might even be viable. I'm on the side of Guan Yu actually being viable. Me Davis too. Arc is going to be on the shock. Gusta going to play Habwa most likely in the middle lane while we see El Chapu in the jungle on Freya and One Glance playing that hunter role on Ram. Well, Ram got through, but I think Ul is a great matchup for Ram as well, just because he's got great pushing power. With the ability to stand switch and put out double amounts of damage in that lane, he can push kind of effectively in that. We'll see how that one plays out as time goes on, though. But the big talking point, I guess, in this one overall, after, is going to be Guan Yu versus Hercules, the old warrior support meta in action. <laughs> Definitely is going to be the talking point. I think the Ram Guan lane will be pretty good, just even... With the bonus that they rhyme. But the Ram Guan lane will be really... It'll be very full of... It, they'll just be bullies, Hindu man. You're going to see a lot of poke coming out from one glance. And good, solid damage coming out from Pulliam should bully Full Moon a lot. And if they play it right, they'll be able to get easy kills. As long as they stay away from the flips coming out from Blitzkrieg. That's going to be the main thing on this one. So at the start of this game, you can see everybody go to the lanes. Nothing unusual at the very beginning of this. Although, Guan did drop kind of low from doing that. We can see the Morning Star rush coming out from Ram, though. So he looks like he's going for that Heartseeker start off in this one. Right hand side, you can see the torture pushed under the tower right now by Mercury and that Chunga. Yeah, one of the largest reasons that Pulliam took so much damage on that camp. No Hand of the Gods, whether that's a yet Ooh. or at all. We don't see a Hand of the Gods on the support Guan Yu just yet. But he's not invested that gold into anything else. Like, he's not got boots online or anything like that. I'm really confused by that, f -top. It definitely is something curious as El Chapu dies in the jungle. Wow. One kill already going to full moon. 115 being the kill mark right there. Oh, no, first blood. And to Torch Gaming's tower is already under attack as Mercury suffers a death as well. Well, meanwhile, her body did rotate over. That was a good rotation in the end. Didn't miss any farm in mid lane either. So that's pretty good for him. Now he's going to come around the back of Scylla and put the pressure on her as well. And there's the spout again. And now Scylla's caught out a bad position here. Has she got the center? Oh, I don't think she's going to have it. Oh, attack her. Boy, two up already in this game, F dot. And you know what that means, don't you? Her boy's going to get online even quicker. Yeah, Habwa, when he gets ahead, is just a force to be reckoned with in all senses of the word. So much damage coming out from that character right there. A burst mage, quite frankly, the definition of a burst mage. Just definitely. so much damage. Already level 5 at the 2-minute mark. His opponent is only going to be level 3. Expect another kill in that middle lane if she doesn't play safely. Well, Full Moon going aggressive this left hand side because they've got a four man rotation coming out from Torch actually. So now Blitzkrieg's in trouble as the Whoop lands a spout at the same time, but it's still enough for a third kill to Gusta on that Hobwar in middle lane. He's really putting the pressure on level five already at two minutes in this game. Highest level in the game, only almost dead catching up to him. But he's putting great rotational presence on knowing that Silla wasn't there. <laughs> Just wasn't there, unfortunately. Uller did get away. Thanks to the jump. Axe did miss, but the jump was online. Got safely to the tower. Unfortunately, Hercules, not the same fate. Midcamp should be respawning in about 15 seconds. So we're going to see teams sort of gyrate around that area. We'll see if Torch Gaming can, can make a run for them, as they definitely need to. Sitting behind just a few, just a little bit gold, about three, 400 gold. But Gusta, level 6, going to command these left-hand harpies. 
Now, just so you all know at home, guys, this match between Full Moon and Torch is a quarterfinal match. So whichever one wins this game are going to be moving on to the two-week play-in continuation as the round robin begins. So this is a very important match for both these teams. I thought the loser will go to the challenger scene, the amateur cups, and the winner has a chance to still enter the pro league. So this is a very important match on paper. And Torch at the moment are looking like they've come out to really try and put the pressure on and take the spot. Who's to clearing the rest of his minions? Level 7 to Zappy G's level 5. We talked about this level disparity a little bit before. Mercury doesn't even want to gank. Gets picked up in the jungle. Here comes the Habwa. There's oh, a good knockup coming out from right there. Try to get some damage onto him, but he knows that still is right here. Crush is going to hit, but just barely do any damage. Good water cannon come out. Gusto taking a lot of poke. Already about half Don't HP, and that's a defensive ult coming out from Merc. Yeah, Sonic Boom was defensive. He looked for the angle, but didn't find it onto that Freya in mid lane. The rise of Freya is really coming back. As we look left hand side, cavalry charge has been popped by Guan Yu. Looking for the aggression. Is that also you can see the roll come out. He goes up into the sky with the astral barrage. Not required though, is he's already picked up that Hercules. But bold pop on that ooh is very very low. And now they're going to try and rotate around for this blue. But Mercury is here. Mercury's all alone by himself, trying to get onto his tower safely, and the red team, Torch Gaming, just gonna bully them, as we said, out of this blue buff. This Guan Yu lane, I told you, it's gonna be a lot of bullying, a lot of damage in through the lane, through the waves. Right now, Pulliam getting bullied himself, pulled out and crushed, but still over 60%. Now, one of the things after that's really big to note is the fact that Guan Yu has that protection buff that happened to him in the patch, and that's why we've seen him more. As we can see, Habwa going aggressive to the skies, comes out looking to try and finish off Zappy G. Is he going to find it? No. If that one hit would have hit, just to make sure he would have confirmed it. But now, Freya's in trouble. Driving strike under the tower. Can she survive? No, she cannot. Tower picks it up. Thanks to the help of Mercury with that major look as well. And now Habwa has to find an exit strategy. Luckily for him, Guan Yu's in the area, though. Habwa definitely still has a huge lead, level 8, and as we mentioned before, Habwa's kit just lends itself to being spectacular when he's in the lead. That single water spout putting our Mercury at just so little health, 40% yeah. about there, and Habwa's comfortable to just push this tower, despite the fact that there's a Scylla and a Mercury here to provide backup. Oh, look at the right lane. Now you can see them trading backwards and forwards now that the minions have gone down. No one's really going to get an advantage at this early stage of it, if for the most part. Anyway, Chungo should be fine. But the big aggressions are left on the The cavalry charge once again gets popped. Astro Barrage was waiting on. Second hit connects as well. Third one's going to secure it. That was a nice wave from one glance. But Sonic Boom's here. Not going to connect. <gasps> Major look nice. connects, goes ahead, and Mercury gets credit for the Pulliam death. That's going to be his first death of the game after a fantastic assist under tower to help get his ROM another, a second, a first kill. First kill, two assists. So right hand side, mid's going to go to Torch Gaming. Scylla tries to provide a little bit of poke, not able to do much. Left hand's about to spawn. Yeah, gold lead is only 500 in favor of Torch. However, experience just over 1,500. So things are looking good for Torch at the moment. Though full moon after the start Torch had after, have given as well as they've got to an extent. So it's not it's still anyone's game. And considering it's such an important game for both these teams, I'm glad to see it's going to be a close one. <gasps> right hand side. Going to see the dunk down coming out from Thor. Actually, sorry, from Thor? From Chark. <laughs> not going to actually find the connection though as he rotates back to his hammer. So he's at Hammer, why is Thor on my brain? I've seen him too much, but Mercury's here now. Mercury provided a fantastic come in right here and tried to tried to get Guan before, picked up the kill, tried to do the same to Hindu Man, otherwise known as Thor, otherwise known as Chalk, but not able to really fa uh, do anything over there in the solo lane. We take a look at the left-hand side production. I mean, Rom is not having a good game right now, and Bud Pop trying to make something happen, only a level down. Yeah, right now we're going to see the rotation coming out once again from Hercules on the backside, but Guan's already in lane. He's going to look for a driving strike here on Ron. They're not going to see it at the moment, but what's his decision going to be? He actually driving strikes back into his own half of the jungle, decides against it. Is the red buff going to be given over to that Scylla in mid lane by Mercury? Who's level 9 at the moment? Because he's the highest level on his team, but Habwa, level 10, one glance, level 10 on that Ron, and so is Chuck in the solo lane. So you can see where these experience leads are starting to develop after. I spell cavalry charge. The the Sikkim's gonna miss. Crush gonna hit. Pulliam just so tanky already. 
Good aggression. They want to do something under this tower. Tallow Assault going to push Scylla back onto the tower. There's three members of Torch Gaming here in the middle. Three members of Full Moon here as well. The fourth is coming. Hercules is here. The two hunters are sitting in their lane. How much is going to happen? We're going to see Stop. both teams dissipate. Just a just an interesting situation to get Full Moon. So oh, Astro Barrage, left-hand side. Back. Finds the first, finds the second. Can't connect the last one. Bud Pop survives for now, but he's very, very low, and Rom is having his way in this lane, so to speak. I'm going to come here and push this lane. This will be very good for Torch Gaming to get some tower damage. Nobody here in the vicinity to really defend this this tower. If they push it very fast, they would be able to get some damage. Opting instead to go for the blue buff that just spawned. Ultimate come out from Hercules and a defensive driving strike to push himself underneath his own tower. Instead, Torch Gaming Ooh. going for the Gold Fury. This is a gutsy play, Hindu man. Well, Boulder is down, but Sonic Boom is being charged. Now you can see the aggression from Hubwa eats a massive crush to the face. Sonic Boom across, Mercury. connects with two of them. Nice damage out. Who's going to get it? Torch to kill the Gold Fury, but at what cost is the cavalry charge? He's trying to get away from the Sonic Crushing Wave was big. There's a big spot. As well, double kill to Gusta. Can he find more? Please, a lot of damage coming out from this hub. Wow, Gusta get putting Freya in a great position to go ahead and pick up that kill. Great axe coming out from Bud Pop. Gonna jump over the wall. He'll be saved, ladies and gentlemen. Bud Pop has made it, but Torch Gaming walks away with the Gold Fury, a handful of kills, and they lead 3100. Go. Yeah, th three to one in that fight and the torch did pick up the golf fury as well big lead for them developing it was an aggressive attempt to take that golf fury down as well after knowing there's so many members of full moon were there but they were very confident in their own abilities to deal with that and they dealt with it very very well and a lot of that comes down to gusto and how far ahead he is he's five zero and one now that's ridiculous yeah, it was really fantastic play coming out from Hebo, understanding exactly what was going on. So, as a mage, you don't do a lot of damage to the Gold Fury, Hindu Man. As we see, a little bit of aggression over here from Merc. He should be able to get out with that special delivery. Don't really do a lot of damage with your basic attacks as a mage. So, your job as a mage is to really provide the defense. So he went out and tried to provide spacing and got a couple of kills and really prevented the other team from interfering with his team's attempt at the gold fear ultimately wound up getting the kill almost because of Habois. Yeah, almost because of Habois. Sonic Boom charged left hand side. Gonna look for Rom, but Rom well aware of it. You see how he juke back into the jungle there. He heard the clap and was instantly, nah, I'm just gonna cut off the angle you could possibly have. But maybe the first buff. Meanwhile, mid lane, Scylla dropping very low again to Habois, who's just having a whale of a time in this line. Get it? Whale? Because it's in the sea and his water. Do you like that? I was funny. I like that. Great axe coming out from Bud Pop. Going to prevent the aggression from Pulliam. Blitzkrieg sitting about 40% HP. Got down even oh, lower. Close to death. But Hubois. killed himself back up. Habwa in the solo lane behind the enemy tower. Oh. This is going to be a dead Chunga. It looks like it. Spout. There's a crush. Tidal wave going to connect. Picks him up the kill and walks away as if there's nothing wrong. Now they're going to put some pressure on this right side. But Sonic Boom charge. He's going to come across. Find onto Habwa. Beads are used instinctively. There's a good silence. But also attacks can't get silence as the crush connects. And now we're going to see Chuck in trouble. So, so the Hammer Monster going to hit double kill. Going over to Mercury. And that's important for Full Moon right now. Yeah, that's the type of plays that Full Moon are going to want to replicate in order to go ahead and put themselves in the lead. Still trailing by just under 3,000, but they've shortened the lead by about 400 gold. Definitely an important play, as you've mentioned. Gold Fury's down, so really no place to go after That's that, but they're progressing side. into the left-hand lane. They did love the Astral Barrage, only found one hit, the first one, the least amount of damage of those three hits that can come off. But he's going to put the pressure on even more because nobody's here to help out all that minion wave. He's going to have to back away and give up the tower here by the looks of it. I don't think they'll take the tower, or will they? That's the question. I mean, it is a warrior alongside Rom, so yeah. the tower damage is pretty strong. Yeah, they went ahead and picked up Hercules off that situation, which really forced the rest of Full Moon's duo lane, Bud Pop, to back off. Without the Hercules there, there's nothing scaring Torch Gaming off of that tower. They know that they could just aggress. The worst that Uller could do is stun them. Can't really displace them the way a Hercules can. So free to push up as soon as they kill the Hercules, they eventually took that tower, and that's going to help them out in the long run, and you know that's going to bring it back up to 3,500 for their lead.
The full moon realized in the behind right now at the start during this game, they've put down a lot of wards right now on the left hand side of the map. You can see three placed, two on the right hand side, so they're keeping an eye on the rotations because they realize how much Hub was doing so. But meanwhile, Torture doing the same thing. Hub just placed a very deep ward. Seeing that Mercury out right now, gonna walk into Freya, hits by the whoop, gonna have to use his um, special delivery to get out of there for the most part. But can he follow up with anything? I don't think so because Scylla is too far behind with that third member rotating in there in the terms of Guan Yu. That's gonna be all she wrote is the look for more possibilities as these mid camps spawn. Right hand mid camps are almost undoubtedly going to Torch Gaming. Torch Gaming providing some push onto the solo lane. Torch Gaming providing some push onto the duo lane. Torch Gaming providing some push into the mid lane. Torch Gaming has their fingers all over each and every lane right here. They are ahead by a lot in Hebo, Habwa, Augusta. Level 14 leading the way. Really leading the charge for his team. Even though he's got Guan Yu on the side, he's showing off his ability to lead from the front lines right now on this Hubwa. Done a good job for his team already. Gorfieri coming up soon as the whoop lands in middle from Freya. But she takes a crush back to the face. 400 damage, nothing to shake a tail. A sonic boom is charged. Are they going to look for an engage here? No, not right now. Like I said, Gorfieri up soon though. And war coverage all in favor of Torchram there. Torch running this middle lane. Good crush coming out from Scylla. She's at that point where the crush now gets rid of almost the entire wave. So Gusta has to play a little bit more carefully. But with three levels, his senior to Zappy G, Gusta's going to have a very good matchup right here. But if you notice, Full Moon is just staying in the jungle waiting for Habwa to make a bad move. You know how squishy Hebo is and how quickly you could punish him for being out of position. That's what Full Moon was looking for, but really lost track of what's going on. And now Torch Gaming, three members are going to go aggress onto the Gold Fury, and it no looks like knows. they're going to take it. They've got no vision of this whatsoever. Maybe they do just at the edge of that ward, but no one's in a position to contest this one, I've got. Full Moon are going to have to give this one up as Hercules her. is going to rotate in. But if he gets isolated by this hub on the backside, where's he going? Is he lagged out? I think he's lagged out there. Interesting death right there. Rom's going to go ahead and provide some artillery. Zappy G getting very low. Gusta just barely out of range. Can't aggress onto the tower as there is secretly a Mercury right here waiting, waiting for him to get out of position as we talked about. I mean, Mercury at the moment, what he's looking to do, you can see it after what happened with Hubwa. He's looking to counter gank. You've said this before, but Zoppy Amid's in trouble. He turned his back on a Hubwa and you don't want to do that because the god of the... Yellow River will make sure you pay the price, and he did as the wet paper went down to close the gap. Smartly backing off from this tier 2 tower. Full Moon's giving chase, but it's two on four. If Torch Gaming decides to turn around, those are two very dead members. That's what they're going to do. The lift Cavalry is good. Charge. Out comes the Cavalry Charge. Wood Pop not going to get stunned out, but is going to take a lot of damage. Mercury providing some poke. Not enough. As the Mercury on one side of the Chunga on the other, they can't take Chunga. on four members of Torch Gaming. Where are they off to now? It's a smart call by Chang'e. You see a recall, and she can't defend against her full team against this tower. I mean, she could stall it for a second, but it was solo anyway after. It's better to give it up than throw your life away. Torch Gaming looking good here today. Full Moon have come out to play, but it just doesn't seem to be paying off. As once again, Mercury gets caught out here by the whoop. He's going to have to look to get away. As Rom's looking to finish it off. I believe that's actually going to go over to Freya, of all people there, using to the skies to come to the rescue and finish that one off. And now they're going to lose the red buff too. Torch Gaming, it was, this was a very, very close game, folks, up until that last Gold Fury. Yeah, it Gold really Fury was. came, Hercules got killed, they seized, Torch Gaming seized the opportunity, went ahead and took not just one, but two towers, killed some people while they were grouped up in their four-man siege, stole the jungle, folks, now we're looking at a much different game than we were just a few minutes ago, 16 and a half minutes in, 8,000 gold leading the way for Torch Gaming, 14 to 6 kills, things are looking bright for Torch. And for the side of Full Moon, hopefully it can brighten up a little bit more. Because right now at the moment, it is looking like you said, a total eclipse right now, I feel, for Full Moon Game. And at the start of the show, I hope we didn't see it. Maybe maybe we'll see, you know, a Crescent Moon, maybe. Maybe they've got a chance of getting back into this one. I'd love to see the Full Moon come online, F dot. Hopefully they've still got a chance to. Because we're only 17 minutes in, Fire Giant still stands. And we all know it's not over until the Titan falls. Very, very true, Chunga. Up a little bit away from her tower. Nobody really there to provide any sort of destruction. Fire Giant getting warded and counter warded. Torch Gaming is going to aggress on this Hindu man with two members here. Habwa and Freya are going to show up. Almost Dead is here to provide some some backup, but she's going to quickly oh. be chased off. And right now, the Fire Giant, it's going to go down slow, so folks. So 
Full Moon Tonic can boom. definitely provide a little bit of fight. Great Waxing Moon coming out from the Chunga. That's going to be Guan getting out of there. Gusta does get a double kill. He is Habla oh. pulling him very low. Double stun coming out from the Guan Yu. Oh, is that Aegis going to die as soon as it's down? And what? William. Quad's still alive! A lot of jukes! Quad's still alive! Out all by himself! And now we have the hunter trying to get out. And Hercules. Well, Rom's not Rom's not gonna give up on Hercules. Hercules trying to do his best to juke, but Guan's like, please, buddy, please! You ain't got the jukes like me! That guy ran through a whole team! He ran through a whole team and survived! He dodged ultimate after ultimate! Everybody other than Gusta, the man who's led the charge for his team, so to speak, went down there. Now they can look to pressure on middle lane. This is fantastic. That's going to be a deal side for Torch Gaming. Full Moon not rezzing. They're just rezzing about now. Bud Pop still has 20 seconds since he was the last to die. Instead of going for the Fire Giant, as they are sort of low, Torch Gaming is going to opt instead for the Tower. Going to go ahead and pick up for the first Tier 2 Tower of the game. That one's down. Torch Gaming puts it in the books. And now they're going to aggress on the Fire Giant. This is a gutsy call. They're going to opt it. They're going to choose they can not wait. to. Full, full Moon is all alive. They know it, and they don't want to give that much up. Yeah, go back to base, buy up some items, get some more wards and start fighting for this. And right now, Chunga is currently pulling the fire giant there, it felt like, for a moment. She, she pulled it, and then I think her team said, no, we're not in a position <laughs> to do this right now. Please don't, Chunga. This is a bad call. So they're going to just waste a bit of time for the time being and just wait for an opportunity. That's what Full Moon needs to do here, FDOT, is wait for Torch to make a mistake. But really, Torch are not making that many. You know, Torch Gaming sitting about 10,000 gold up right now. They're going to resume to passivity, just looking for an opportunity to go ahead and grab that Fire Giant. They understand that despite the fact that they're up by 10,000 gold, an all-out fight under the Fire Giant might not be fantastic. That said, about two minutes ago, that's exactly what they did, folks, and they got a deicide. Maybe they're just not so confident that they could replicate that. Instead, they're going to go ahead and grab the Gold Fury, which should go down very quickly. Yeah, going to go down very quickly indeed. Hopefully this time Hercules is going to be all of his senses online as he throws the boulder. Going to get some nice damage off. He's going to find it. No, he's not. Torch picks it up. And now Blitzkrieg is in trouble again. He's going to get hit by a spell, but El Chapu going to pick that one up on Freya. And now with the support being down, they can rotate straight over for this fire giant. Do they have another hog three, though, is my question. Because I feel... Like, they just used it, which is very dangerous. Oh, no, I'm lying, because Davis on that chuck does have one here, F dot. That's a big play for them. And they can actually abuse that fact now. Having a second hog three, got to come in handy as Chuck's going to work on zoning. He's the one with the hog. They're going to go ahead and abandon what it looks like. The fire giant, good zoning coming out from Pulliam. Yes, Great ages for Zappy G, but the storm calls online right afterwards. Rob's in the air providing some solid artillery. Gets the double kill is the is the Davis arc, and Gusta gets the double kill as well. Two double kills for Torch Gaming, one on Chalk, one on Havwa. Not quite a DSI, but they don't need it. Blitzkrieg just coming out of the base. All five members of Torch Gaming progressing onto this. Fire Giant should be going down right when Hercules gets in the vicinity. Oh, run, run, my friend. Be free, the driving strike used to try and get away. Now he's going to run away from Rom and the chase. Petition as the wet paper goes down to speed them up. Freya still looking for the whoop. Is she going to find it? That's the question. Not going to find it. Curse was used, though, in that one. And now all the members of Torch are considering going back to base. A good decision. Buy up, get health and mana back. And then look to try and push on and end this game out. Because right now, they're in a commanding position to do so after. Commanding is putting it lightly, Hindu man. Hercules has had an extremely unfortunate game, sitting at 0-7-3, not just by his lonesome, everybody on the team, with the exception of the Mercury, who's even is negative at the moment. Torch Gaming very much running this game. 14,000 gold in the lead, leading in experience also 22,000. So Torch Gaming looking very good at the moment. Definitely the favorite for the victory. Definitely the favorite, but right now left hand side, you can see Guan Yu put a ward down, looking to steal away the blue buff. Is he going to find it? He is, you know, uses the hog to secure and make sure he picks that one up. And now with the support of Gusta there, they're going to continue the aggression. Not going to find the spout, but the rest of Torch Game is starting to group up now. Two in middle lane, three on the left hand side. Looks like they're going to go for a bit of split push here overall, and then maybe finally all group on this left hand side after. 
Full Moon probably will have to fall back off of this tower. Pro the best choice for Full Moon right now would be defend under the Phoenix rather than the tower. Just give this tower to Torch Gaming. They do have Fire Giant. Not much they could do. It would just be a deicide if they actually chose to engage. The tower lasted about two seconds, Indy Man. It really did. I mean, there's so much damage coming out from Torch. Now there's a whoop onto that Ool. He's going to watch his positioning. For the most part, we've seen the Sonic Boom being charged. Now is this assault on this Phoenix is about to begin. Decent sized minion wave there. As you can see, Freya trying to be the front line. Those minions are slowly being chipped away, though. They might have to wait for another one before initiating here. Or will they rotate for the right-hand side? That's the question right now, as the Medjai's is popped on Guan Yu as well. Double whoop! Good situation for Torch Gaming to be in. That whoop gave them an opportunity to go and aggress onto a kill. Great flip coming out from Hercules. No driving strike to back it up. Uh -oh. Instead, Torch Gaming uh -oh. is going to go on the offensive. Uh oh gets a double kill in the Freya. Good artillery coming out from Ram in the back. He's not going to chase Kales. He knows the objective. Down goes the Phoenix on the right-hand side. They're going to move on to the middle one. Yep, middle Phoenix. You're going to see Chuck tanking that one up a storm. Haha, -ha, my jokes are amazing. Oh, gets whooped again, and now he's in trouble. Going to try and use an axe, but instead he gets a water spout to the face. Middle Phoenix goes down. Are they going to backdoor this? They've got the time to. They've got the tanky front line to do so after. It looks like Torch here are going to be the ones to light up the sky tonight. And not the full moon, unfortunately, to be. The clouds have come into play going to cause a few issues for them today, but Torch have now guaranteed themselves to be in the next two weeks of this playing qualifier as they'll face off against whoever else has made it through to these semi-final matches after. Yeah, it was a great play coming out from Torch Gaming. Full Moon tried their best, wasn't able to really do anything. Shoutouts to the Mercury. Again, solid play coming out from Mercury. Not able, not enough to really bring his team to victory. If you had one word for this matchup, what would your word be, Hindu Man? I'll give it to you. Bleach. Gusta. Bleach. 14 okay. to Bleach. 8 right now. I'm sorry. Absolutely right fantastic play coming out from the Humble Wild. Got the early kill, the first blood. Got two subsequent quills, kills before the fourth quills? minute mark. And just absolute lights out play. Like, looking at the player damage, 13,000 seems low. But when you put everybody else in perspective... Not a single soul with five digits on full moon. Really well played from Torch on that one. I mean, they've they've now moved it through, like we keep saying, to the next two weeks of this. They're still going to play in this tournament today, obviously, after because there is money on the line for mm -hmm. every one of these tournaments. So they're going to move on. Now, on the other parts of the bracket, now we find out five angry men and fat chunks assemble have also made it through to the semi-finals which means they will continue on into this possibility of playing in the playing you know promotional series where the top right. four teams are going to play off for the next two weeks in round robin fashion and we're still waiting on the result of one of those teams to come through which is non-pockety op versus late bloomers and if late bloomers is anything as their name says then maybe they're going to make a late at this tournament non pockety OP, previously known as Critosaurus, is definitely one of the big dogs in our tournament. One of the more known teams, as we say. Yeah. Uh, we take a look at the favorites as the brackets are now sort of coming down to the wire. Five Angry Men, definitely a favorite. Surreal Gaming, who just got beat by Fat Chunks Assemble, um, was actually one of the favorites. non pockety OP, and th these teams are the teams that are guaranteed to go on. That's though. right. Five Angry Men. Fat Chucks Assemble, who else? I don't remember, Fat Chucks Assemble, Team Torch, and I'm not sure. We're still waiting on the result of non pockety OP versus Tried to catch leaves. you in a snafu. You're 100% you right. It's the semi-finalists. So if you go ahead and you take a look at highrestudios.com slash esports slash tournaments, you'll be able to see the brackets. Um, and the semi-finalists are all eligible to go on for the next two weeks for the play-ins to see who makes it to be the last two teams in the SPL. Of course, the four teams, uh, the top four teams from our past 10 weeks of qualifiers in the SWC are already qualified to be there, so we're just fighting over the last two spots. Well, the, the one next thing is, after, I mean, with, with this tournament today, what you're going to see is these top four teams that are going to be playing, they're going to play in this tournament for the outset. So we're going to see the semifinals and then the final, and we'll also find out what kind of seeding we're going to see from these teams. So we'll have an inkling whether or not five angry men are going to be the ones that are more likely to go through, or is it going to be one of the underdogs, one of the less seen teams, maybe Team Torch, maybe non pocket EOP. We'll see as we wait for this one. So guys, we'll be right back with the next game. It's going to be Fat Chunks Assemble versus 5am, which should be, as Bart would say, a barn burner. 
It's definitely going to be exciting. So stay tuned for more Smite action.